Hi, my name is Ellen Harvey, and I have had the great privilege of doing two shows at Two River Theatre. My first was Pericles in 2016, and the last show I did was the amazing, wacky, farcical comedy Noises Off which was in 2018, directed by the fabulous Sarna Lapine. That was a very interesting show in terms of my audition because I wasn't in New York City at that time. I was doing a play down in Virginia. And so what it meant that is if I wanted to audition for Noises Off, I had to put myself on tape. And so what that means for actors is that we actually have to do the theatrical audition, but we have to do it it in front of a camera. And I really wanted to do the show. So I put myself on tape and I got the part and I was ecstatic and I was thrilled. The, um, the interesting thing is that even just two years ago, it wasn't a very large percentage of the time that you would be putting yourself on tape for audition because everything was being done live. Now, in right now where we are in time, 100% of auditions are being done via, via video, via tape, being submitted over the internet. Um, it has become a way of how we do business at this moment. So what I wanted to do was share with you, actually, a sort of insider look into what it is to see an audition on tape. And I am going to share with you my video audition tape for Noises Off. Now, granted, you Michael Frayn fans will totally be able to tell that I have paraphrased a few things. Um, and you will notice that I do pick up the script every now and then. I pick up sides to remember where I am word-wise. We try to remember and memorize as much as possible for auditions, but because sometimes they happen so quickly, we do really need to still refer to the script so that we don't lose track of where we are in the audition. Obviously, it was completely memorized correctly when we did the production. Um, but I thought it might be interesting for you to sort of see what gets submitted when you audition for something and you're not in town. So here it is. Act one monologue, Dottie Otley, noises off. Enjoy. Oh, it's no good you going on. What? I can't open sardines and answer the phone. Oh, I've only got two feet. Hello? Yes, but there's no one here, love. No, Mr. Brent's not here. Well, he lives here, yes, but he don't live here now because he lives in Spine. Mr. Philip Brent, yeah, that, that, that's him, that's right. The one who writes the plays, that's him. Now he, he writes them in Spine. No, she's in Spine too. They're all in Spine. There's no one here. Am I in Spain? No, I'm not in Spain, dear. I look after the house for them. But I, I, I go home at one o'clock on Wednesday. Only I've got a nice plate of sardines to put my feet up with because it's the royal, oh, what's it called? Um, uh, you know, the royal, uh, it's on the telly. Um, hold on. Um, Oh, and if it has to do with letting the house, then you'll have to ring the house agents because they're the agents for the house. Yeah, the, uh, the Squire, Squire, Rackham, and uh, what's the other one? Mm, no, they're not in Spain. They're next to the phone in the study. Yeah, let me see. Squire, Squire, Rackham, and uh, um, hold on. <laughs> It's the same, isn't it? I mean, soon as you take the weight off your feet, down it all comes around your head. <laughs> and I, I take the sardines. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I leave the sardines. No, I take the sardines. You leave the sardines. Oh, yes, of course, I put the receiver back. And you leave the sardines. 
I leave the sardines. I put the receiver back and I leave the sardines. That's right. oh. We changed that, have we, love? Oh, anyway, that's what I've been doing. I shouldn't say that, daughter, my precious. Well, I, how were the words, love? Did I, did I, am I getting them right? Yes, some of them have a familiar ring. Ha, ah. well, it's admitted, it's only, it's a fruit machine in there. I mean, I open my mouth and I, I never know if it's going to come out three oranges or two lemons and a banana. Anyway, it's not midnight yet. You'll be open until tomorrow, so you're holding the receiver. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm holding the receiver. Squire, squire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Squire, squire, rackham and, um, um, yeah, hold on, don't go away. I'm putting it down. Oh, it's always the same, isn't it? Put your feet up for two minutes and immediately they come running after you. Something happened also during our run of Noises Off, which if you actually look at it, you go, wow, that is so Noises Off that that happened. We had, it was our final weekend of performances and we had no understudies during the run of that show. And for those of you who don't know Noises Off intricately, it's, it's just madcap comedy, farce, doors slamming, people losing clothes. I mean, it's, there's an ax that goes around people trying to kill each other. It's hilarious, but it is so intricately choreographed that if one of us was not there, that's major. Well, poor Philip Teratula, who played Tim, the stage manager, he came down with the flu. And we didn't know if we were gonna be able to do the show. And they decided to reach out to Brian Eckert. Now, Brian has worked on many productions at Two River, but was also our assistant director on Noises Off, which means he was in the rehearsal hall with us every single day and knew all the props, knew when the doors got slammed, he knew everything. But Brian is not an actor. And Brian said, I'm, I will come out to Two River and I will do it, but I have to carry a script and I just have to be me. And they were like, great. So Brian got on a train, came out from New York City to Red Bank, New Jersey, got a script and we went on with the show. And Brian said, I'm not doing the accent. I'm not gonna engage with any of you. And I'm gonna just have the book and make sure that we get through all these pieces of the show safely. And we were like, fantastic. And it was, it was such an actor's, it just, it was, it was a wonderful experience, I think, for the audience and for us on stage because it was really that moment of everybody just pulling on together to make sure that the story still got told. And of course, an announcement was made that Brian was going on and to be prepared seeing this man walk on with a book in hand and, and the audience was kind of excited about it. But the biggest laugh of the night came 20 pages into the show when Brian walked on stage and the the role of Lloyd, who is the director within the show, turns to Tim, the stage manager, now played by Brian, and says, hurry up with those doors, you're going on as the burglar. And the audience thought that that was the funniest thing in the world because here was Brian already going on in the part of the stage manager when he's not that part and then the character in the play is being told to go on for something that he's not normally going on for anyways it was it was just joyous to hear this roll of laughter like an inside joke from the audience and um, we made it through thanks to brian so that's my that's my behind the scenes story for two river theater um Thanks for listening. Continue to support the arts and continue to support Two River Theater. Arts are imperative in our lives. And I feel very lucky that I have been able to do some wonderful art at Two River. Take care. <laughs>